So for today, we're going to be looking at the Starfire protocol. I ended up getting a comment saying that they wanted me to make it look good, which is pretty terrible considering this exotic is one of those exotics that just doesn't look good. But I'm going to try my best. I'm going to have three sets for you guys. Hopefully, hopefully you guys like them. They're all going to share some uh, things because the chest piece is so overbearing that it's kind of kind of gonna look the same for all of them but at the same time i use different shaders i use different pieces so hopefully you guys like this is what i'm trying to say if you guys like the video like comment and subscribe it really does help me uh because if you guys don't know a huge portion of people that actually come to my channel are actually not subscribed so for those of you who are not subscribed if you guys like the video uh, a like would be very much appreciated share it with your homies if you guys actually like the content enough and actually sub that's even more appreciated just know that i make fashion content a lot in destiny 2 and i'm trying i'm gonna try to do other games as well but i'm i mostly stick to destiny 2 and i also do other stuff aside from fashion as well so if you guys like it again but again let's just get right into the video so to start off let's just look at this terrible exotic uh starfire protocol definitely definitely one of the most used exotics right now for warlocks because another fusion grenade is just vital especially for solo 3.0 uh the only issue i have with this exotic is the fact that it's just so overbearing and what i mean by that is first and foremost it covers everything of the of the feet does not matter what you're wearing you're most likely not going to see it uh the other part at least for me this is going to be weird for a lot of people but for me i absolutely hate that the shoulder or not the shoulders well actually it's the same texture as the shoulder but the elbows have this really gross covering that unfortunately i think only one or two arms can actually cover up and on one of them i am actually using that arm uh, the gold trim also does not change color. Be aware of that. Uh, as for how it shaders, I personally like Echoed Anger a lot just because the red looks really good with it. Just be aware that Echoed Anger has no gold in it, so the gold trim is going to look weird on it. Uh, Abyssinian and gold, I'm not a big fan of. I, it looks kind of boring and basic to me. And then for the Sato Tribe, my only unfortunate thing about it is the fact that there's no blue on it. That's to be that's to be expected though because the blue and white usually go on plate armor and this whole exotic has no plate armor so yeah that kind of sucks donkey dick other than that oh man there's a lot of negatives to this exotic I did make again like I said in the beginning of the video I did make three sets for you guys just just to see if you I can at least see if one of you guys were like this one looks really cool so. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to be looking at the th first one. First one is using the Dreaming Spectrum shader. So a really big thing you guys will notice from all of these sets is that I am trying to match the gold on the actual trim of the exotic. So for, for me to do that, I'm actually using the, the Dreaming Spectrum cast. It's a really good shader. Uh, just be aware that there is green on it uh specifically for like the glow or it's probably just the off color plus the glow uh, there is no green on mine thankfully aside from the bond but for the pieces we're using the couturier cover because a the jawline has this really cool cloth that i really wanted to incorporate and the ornamental chains and whatnot on the face looks really cool too for the arms the arms of optimacy is one of my favorite arms to cover up really gross elbow covers which is why is the whole reason why I'm using this. And the other reason is because it's very ornamental as well. For the boots, we're using the Forbidden Visage boots. These are one of my favorite boots if I want to really showcase some color. And the reason I'm using this one is because I want it to at least have some gold at the bottom. So that way, uh, when the when the legs actually do show up, people are like, oh shit, there's gold down there. And then last but not least, Blood Lineage Bond. The main reason I use the bond is because it goes well with the chains on the helmet. And that's really it actually you guys can see there is a little bit of gold on the actual gem itself but other than that everything looks good in my opinion i really like this set this is probably one of my favorite sets that i made so far for this exotic let me know what you guys think it's definitely you're definitely gonna have to work hard to make this exotic look good i actually don't even think this looks amazing amazing because the exotic is just so big 
but I do still like it. Actually, I would say I love it. To be fair, I'm, I'm really digging it right now. This I actually would fuck with. The next one we're going to be looking at is the Vintage Timber Shader. This one is a really good shader. I love this shader. This is going to be one of your darker shaders, obviously. But the main reason I'm using this shader is because, again, this one is almost close to the gold on the trim. It's just that the trim in the gold or the gold in the trim is a little bit more white gold. And this one is almost there. It's just a little bit darker, but I'm really like anal when it comes to like the t like the tinges and the different colors and whatnot. And I know people are just going to see gold gold. Oh, that makes sense. That looks good already. So for the helmet, we're using the Celestine hood. Definitely one of the best helmets that the Warlocks have without the glow because the glow does not look good, does not match any other glow, unfortunately. Uh, for the arms, we're using the Tusk Allegiance gloves because a, it covers the shoulder cover or not the shoulder cover. It covers the elbow cover a little bit. It it looks better with with this arm. Let's just say that because it looks like it's actually going under the arm armor. Uh, for the boots, we're using boots of the great hunt. This is definitely one of my favorite boots, but I will say that the boots really don't matter with this with this exotic usually most of the time. And then last but not least, we have this fetish bond. Uh, mostly because I just wanted something ornate, but not super bearing, overbearing. And I really like this one. So again, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think, which one will you guys be rocking? We have one final one, which I have changed a, a bit. And last but not least, we have Royal Dye for the last shader we're using. And I think this looks really good, A, because the gold trim on Royal, Royal ugh, the gold on the Royal Dye is actually pretty close to the trim on the chest piece. Uh, for the helmet we're using ash raven's iron hood this is an old ornament from Warmind, definitely one of my favorite helmets in the game uh for the arms we're actually using uh ciceratops claws because the gold uh the gold bands actually look really good with it the only negative is the fact that the circle and the lines on the actual uh hand are orange other than that it i actually think this looks really good uh, for the boots, we're using the Nemean boots. Doesn't really matter, like I said, uh, because this specifically for this shader, unless it's showing the gold, anything else is going to be pointless. And then last but not least, we're using the Coronation Bond uh, because honestly, this is just one of my favorite bonds. There's no thought process with that one. It's just, it's, I love this bond. So uh, that's pretty much it for all of the example sets that I made. We're going to talk a little bit more about the exotic because I do feel like it, we need to talk about a few things. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to want to lean into the trim a lot because if you don't lean into the trim and you try to go with something else that doesn't have at least some color to the trim, it's going to look weird. I'm going to be real with you guys. If you guys do something like, for example, like Crucible Vermilion or Argent Torrent Torn, which that one actually you could probably pull off argent uh ter teratorn you actually might be able to pull off but just be aware that for people like me who actually notice uh like different tints and whatnot we will point it out because uh argent teratorn tor tor <clears throat> uh there is no there is no gold to it it's more silver but for people who don't really care about that you can definitely pass it up um, there's a lot of shaders you can do with it. Just be aware that the ones with at least some gold to it is going to be really good. And if you can actually match the white gold with the other golds, like I, like I said, Royal Dye was really good. Vintage Timbers really good as well. Uh, the shader from last, not last wish, uh, Dreaming Cast, that's really good as well. Just be aware that there's a few golds that will actually match that tint. Now, if you're trying to like just completely ignore it, there you can also use shaders that completely um, nullify the tint. For example, whites, white shaders are really good to just ignore the, the shader completely. Uh, just be aware that it's gonna look a little weird because the tint, the the gold on the chest piece still has like some reflection. But other than that, if you really do want to ignore it, you're gonna want to use a white shader. But again this one this exotic is really hard not because of anything other than the fact that it's overbearing and the gold tint doesn't change color and it covers your boots which means that you're really just showcasing arms and your helmet the bond 
could be really finicky. You can use something crazy or you can do use something very really boring. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for St Starfire Protocol. This video sucked to make because this exotic sucks. Uh, look wise, fashion wise, obviously the exotic itself is really good right now, but it was it was pretty tough i'm not gonna lie to you guys but let me know what you guys think in the comments below what are you guys' tricks and tips for this exotic i would love to know in the comments below but if you guys want to see a certain exotic for from a different class just let me know obviously this video was made by someone just commenting to make starfire protocol look good and this is what they got so again if you are interested in a certain exotic to be made either i have already made it or i will be making it so be safe and i'll see you guys later